I got a question uh, from a very dear student of mine, Mr. Mahesh from Nellore. Um, he has the question as to what is the difference between each iteration and each occurrence uh, when you're parameterizing it. So um, I'm creating the video on this one and putting it on YouTube. This is for you Mahesh and everybody else you have this question. This is definitely an interview question. Okay. So let me go ahead and create a, a script for this in a web HTTP HTML protocol. Okay. So let me name this script as demo each occurrence occurrence versus each iteration. So I'll leave uh, the location of the script as it is and I'm not going to give any solution name or uh, the solution target. Let me go ahead and create the script. There you go guys. So my script is ready. I can choose to record uh, the script, uh, but I don't want it to record because this is just a demonstration demonstrating each occurrence and each iteration. So I wouldn't want it to record anything. Uh, let me create a couple of uh, parameters, LR parameters, and use that LR parameters in the script. And uh, let me demonstrate, you know, how uh, each occurrence and each iteration changes. Well, uh, let me go ahead and create an LR parameter. Uh, just just one of them. I don't need to. Let me call this as demo param. There you go. And uh, let me give some value to this. Any value. Let me give the value as 1. Okay. That should not be a problem. So, and then 2, 3 keep adding certain values 5 uh, sorry 4 5 6 okay so I've created a param called demo parameter demo param and uh, I've given the values 1 2 3 4 5 6 and let this be sequential and uh, uh, each iteration okay first let me demonstrate each iteration then we'll go to each occurrence and we'll do that I'll use that parameter over here. Let me print out that parameter. I wouldn't do anything more than printing out LR output underscore message. Let me use the value over here. Uh, I, I just wanted to print it out. So the value in the parameter the value of the parameter parameter is let me do it as let me keep the placeholder as s so let me do it as a percentile yes okay since i use the placeholder as percentile yes so i just need to convert this lr parameter to a string so which is easy just use this lr eval string and there you go so as for the syntax, you, it needs to be in the double quotes and this demo parameter is an LR parameter. So it has to be in the flower braces. Okay. So this is, this is printing out for the first time. Okay. So I'll say print one. Now again, I'll print out the same value in the script. Okay. So let me call this as a print two. And again, I'll print the same value in the script. I'll call this as a print three. Okay. So now carefully observe what would happen when I use this as each iteration. So what did I do? Demo param. I'm, I, I wanted it, the values to be used sequentially, which means for that for the first iteration, it will take the first value. Second, second iteration, it will take the second value. For the third iteration, it will take the third value. So, but here you've set the each iteration. Okay, now watch carefully what would happen over here. So let me go to the runtime settings and in the log, let me go and then use the extended log with the parameter substitution. However, I'm printing it out, but let's use the parameter substitution as well. And let me run it for three iterations. 
uh, three or two iterations. Let's run it for two iterations. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, so let's let's run it for two iterations. Now, what happens? Since you are using the each iteration uh, in the in, in the parameter, since you said update value on each iteration, so what would happen is for the value will be updated for each iteration, which means that for the first iteration, how many number of times you are using this value, uh, the value will be still same because you said update for each iteration, not for each occurrence. So for print one, the value would be still one. Print two, the value will be one. Print three, the value will be one. Now, when you go to the second iteration, the value will be updated for the second iteration because you said you update it for each iteration. You update the value for each iteration. So for the second iteration, the print one will be still two. I mean, the print one will be two. Print two will be two. Print three will be two. Because you go back to the parameter for the first iteration, it will take one. For the second iteration, it will take two. So to make this uh, concept absolutely clear for you, I'll do a step-by-step -step execution so that it's totally clear for you. I have by default, it looks like the runtime viewer is on. So I, I, I kind of hate the runtime viewer. So let me go disable that. Okay, so the runtime viewer it is disabled now. So let me go do step by step execution. So watch carefully in this output replay log as to what is happening. You see, print one, the value of the parameter is one. It, it would have been off, you know, it's OS. So let me stop this and uh, fix that spelling mistakes uh, or here. So this is off. There you go. So let me save it and then run it again. So you're here, you're running it for the first iteration. You can see this for the first iteration. You know how many number of times you use that value in the script for the first iteration. The value of demo param will stay same. Okay, because you said update for each iteration. So for the first iteration, irrespective of how many times you are using that, it would the value would be still same, which is quite apparent over here now. So you see, <coughs> for the print one, the value of the parameter is one. Okay, for the print two, okay, the value would still be one. You see, the value is not updated. The value of demo param is not updated because this is still the first iteration itself. You can see this is still the first iteration itself, and you are you are updating for each iteration, not for each occurrence. So. For print three as well, the value would still be same. Okay, so now the first iteration is ended. Now you go to the second iteration. So the second iteration, now the value will be updated. The value will be updated to the second value. Okay, so the value in the second row is two. So now you can see the print one, the value of the parameter is two. So for the second iteration, now the value got updated updated to the next value since you have set sequentially and the next value as per sequential is two so it has updated the value to two to two and how many number of times you are using that parameter inside that iteration the value would still seem in this will still remain the same you see print two is still still two and print three is still two okay so the value will not be updated until you go to the next iteration i'm not running it for the third iteration because it's quite obvious that for the third iteration it will take the next value which is three and uh, how many number of occurrences it happens it would still say still stay same okay so this is quite apparent every uh, quite apparent everybody would use this as each iteration very rarely people use this as each occurrence but seems like it's a very very popular interview question before this a lot of people have asked this a uh, lot of my students have asked this i've explained to each and every person over the phone probably you know they would have understood they didn't understood i don't know but now that i'm creating the video okay now this is much more clear hopefully now you see what happens you uh, each occurrence now you said each occurrence you know this is the first occurrence this is the second occurrence this is the third occurrence now for every occurrence the value will be updated which means that for the first occurrence the value will be one the second occurrence the value will be two because you said sequential and sequentially the next value is two so since you said each occurrence so this is the second occurrence in the first iteration is strength itself but the occurrence is second so it will use two and then the first iteration itself this is this is the third occurrence so it will be it will be three 
So let's go that and see that visually with our own eyes. So as expected, so for the first occurrence, it will take the first value, uh, first row, which is one. Now for the second occurrence, you see, it goes and takes the next value, which is two. Since you set sequentially, it is going to the next value and it's picking up the second value. And for the third one, this is the third occurrence, but in the first iteration itself, but it's it's occurring the third time. So it's going to go and update you. Since you said you update the value of the parameter for each time it occurs. So it is occurring for the third time in the same iteration. So it's going to take the third value, which is the three. And why it is taking sequentially? Because you said so in the in the settings. Now, now it will go to the second iteration. And can you guess, guys, what it what kind of value it will take for the second iteration? Okay, if you have guessed it, hold it. So we will see that with our naked eyes. <clears throat> yes, if you have guessed that it will go and take the four. Yes, so that's what it is going and taking because as as sequentially in, in the parameters sequentially the first value was one then it was two then it was three then the next value which occurs if you sequentially is four so then it's going to take five and then six and we are done with it and we are done with it so in case if there was a third iteration what do you think it will take now we are running it for only two iterations okay so it's all done so there is enough values since when I was entering the values itself, I made sure in my mind that, you know, it is good for two iterations. So that's why I've entered the values for two iterations. Had I run it for three iterations, what do you think is the value? Just give it a guess. It's very, very simple. If not, you can create this very simple skip by yourself and you can see it what it is. Okay. It's a very, very simple. I would not answer. Uh, so I'll leave it to your guessing. Uh, but in the interviews, you know, um, uh, if, if you can guess what is the next value, if you are running it for third iteration, uh, so what would be the value which will be taken for print one, if you have guessed it right, so you understood this uh, parameterization really well. So on that note, I'll take off guys, I hope this video will be useful to you and it's a definite, I wouldn't say it's a definite interview question, but it looks like it's a popular interview question because a lot of my students come back to me and I thought it's straightforward, you know, people, you know, would have learned the course from from me they would have they should have I mean they could have you know printed this out and they could have checked it themselves but some of them you know they insist on this uh, because you know uh, the tool is kind of new to new to them and the software itself is new to them so I totally understand uh, from the students point of view so I hope uh, you get this question as an interview question and you will answer this as clearly as I have, I have explained this so good luck good luck guys and uh, uh, keep posting uh, or keep posting your questions and whenever I could pull out some time you know I'll try to answer that and by the way I've started a new course for SAP GUI protocol if somebody is interested want to learn and want to add that to their resume uh, you just let me know you know you can purchase it from my website or you can call me or WhatsApp me uh, and then the course is not expensive as well so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video